Hey guys, this is Joy Neville, and I'm back with a little bit of a video. If you don't know who I'm, I am, I'm Joy Neville. I'm 39 years old. I've lost 138 pounds so far, and my YouTube channel is about health and fitness, mental health, physical health, being positive, meal prepping for your health, exercising for your health, and talking about your mental health. So if you like what I stand for, subscribe and hit the like button below and join the family. We are a healthy sisterhood. And for everybody that's already subscribed, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching and supporting me through my journey. And I love you guys. So today I just, um, I actually just did a what I eat in a day. And I was sitting on the couch before bed. And I thought, let me show them what I used to look like. So I wanted to show you guys what I used to look like. Um, I know I have one video in the very beginning when I started YouTube where I put up before and after pictures. There's not a, f a lot. There's like three or four pictures of me bigger. But I got out my album and I ran through some old pictures. I did not like to take pictures, so I couldn't find a lot. But I found about 20 pictures throughout the years, the last 20 years. So you guys can see different sizes I was and different looks. And yeah. I just wanted to show you guys what I look like before. You see me every day on Instagram and on my videos, so you know what I look like now. Currently, I am five foot. I am 138 pounds. And um, back then, I got up to, I think, my high. And this is, I'm not even sure, but I believe it was 289. When I started weighing myself, I started weighing myself at 278. But my last doctor visit was 289, and I actually think I probably got even bigger than that, but I wasn't weighing myself, so I don't know. But, um, yeah, I've lost 138 pounds so far and still working on it. So I just wanted to show you guys some before pictures of what I used to look like and how far I've come. I want you guys to be able to relate to me more, and some of you can already relate, some of you are you know done with your journey and can totally relate and then some of you are just starting your journey so I want to show you guys I was you and I started where you're starting and just show you guys some love and show you look I did it and I know you can do it too so let's get into the pictures I'm just showing you guys literally out of my album so you might see some shots of my kids or my husband or something but just focus on the picture of me and how I look Okay, so first off, I'm going to show you, that's me and my husband when we got married. I'm trying to see if there's one where you can see my size. This one kind of shows it. You can see how big my arms are and everything. That's me when we got married, so that's the size I was. You can kind of see it here. Uh, where is it here so that's the size when I got married I believe I married him and I was around 200 pounds I might have been like 205 somewhere in there so I wasn't at my largest when I got married okay I'm gonna just hold you up for a minute until because I got a lot of baby bath pictures of my boys and stuff in here I'm sure they would not appreciate me showing you guys so, okay, here's a picture of me having, after I had my second son, so I'm getting bigger here. And then here's a picture of me in a swimsuit. You could totally see that I'm bigger there. I was about 21 there, 21 years old. Okay, we're going up again just so I can flip. Again, I don't want to show too much of my kids because that's probably embarrassing to them. And I have a lot of my children. Okay, here's a picture of me in a swimsuit. I was also about 21 years old here, so I wasn't at my biggest. I was about 210, 215. But I'm only five foot, so my weight was hard on my body. Okay. 
Okay. I know this is a weird way to show pictures, but I suck at editing, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. I have to practice. Um, here's a picture at Christmas time. Let's see if I can zone in on just me. You can see my stomach protruding right where my little son is. But that's a picture of me at Christmas time. My stomach was huge and it drug down by my hoo ha, if you know what I mean. Here's a picture of me sitting on my husband's lap, you guys. Look at how big I am sitting. I'm not even sitting on his lap. Oh, I'm sitting next to him. And look how big I am. And I'm only five foot tall. So I do understand where people are coming from because I've been there. And I just want to remind you guys that I've been there. And also this helps remind me, you guys. Here, I was probably about 30 years old, maybe, 28, 30, me and my husband. I'm just in a swimsuit and a swimsuit cover at the barbecue. But here, I was probably about a good 230, 240. I just want to show you guys. So you guys can see, I know where you're coming from. Here I am with one of my sons. And you can see my stomach, my arms. You can see my neck. My tummy. And so, yeah, the only reason I'm showing these is because I think it's important to show you guys. You know, I have been there. Hi, Nigel. Say hi to the camera. That's my kitty, Nigel. Okay, and then we'll get into these now. I don't have to be so particular. I had a lot of pictures of my boys, and they would be so mad if I showed them. Okay. So, this is me. And I always did my hair and always made myself look presentable. You know, and I would was beautiful even at my largest size I truly believe I was beautiful I just wasn't healthy you guys I was only five foot and so all this weight on my tiny little body was not good and this reminds me of how far I come you know and I don't want to go back because that was hard on my body this is me at my smaller weight I was about 220 here we were youngins. Look at our baby faces. <laughs> we were about 21, 22 here. Look at what my husband's holding, y'all. He's holding a house phone with a cord. When's the last time you've seen one of those? <laughs> Here's me in a swimsuit by the pool. I had triple E breast. They were like a 48 triple E, I think. Didn't know that existed, did ya? Holla to all my big breastesses women out there. <laughs> so yeah, this is me. Here I think I was around like 245, 250. Same here. Hard to see because it's smaller. Again, I didn't like to take pictures, you guys. But you could see I was just a round little ball. A short little round ball. Man, I got a good tan here. And my hair is banging. <laughs> this is just a summer pick. Probably, it looks like I probably went to Easter or something. I had little Easter flowers in my hair. And an Easter sweater and dress. What really catches me is that you can't see my collarbone, you can't see my neck, and now you can see all that. I love showing my collarbone because I never got to show my collarbone. There's me and my husband. Ignore his, he's making a funny face, being silly, so ignore the, his face. <laughs> 
and see. And look at my plate. I got macaroni and cheese, potato salad, burgers, beans, hot dogs. You know, and now I would never have that. I would do the burger wrapped in lettuce, and I would probably do some of the beans, and I'd probably have a lot of veggies and fruit on my plate. But I didn't have any veggies or fruit, no water. I had a cup of juice. So I, I just know the difference now and know the right way to choose things and the wrong way to choose things. And I was choosing the wrong foods and I didn't even know it. What I notice in a lot of my pictures though is I'm never smiling. So as much as I say I'm beautiful and I love myself, I'm never smiling. So clearly, you know, I wasn't as happy as I could have been with myself. Obviously, I love my husband and my family. This is a cutout picture. I cut my family out and hung them on the wall and I cut me out of it. And I found the other piece. But this is me. I hated this picture. I had no neck. So this is me. And then this is me. I'm on a bridge in some sandals and a swimsuit cover because it was too hot. Here's me again. Always dressed up, guys. Let's admit that. My hair was always done, braided up or something. I was always dressed up. Plus size clothes I do not miss buying. You know why? They were hell of expensive. I'm not using the restroom, I'm just sitting on the toilet. I was doing, I believe I was braiding my son's hair or something because I see the hair products out. And my husband took a picture of me. But that's me. I was laughing there. <laughs> this is me at my biggest. This is me when I graduated nursing school. You know, when I look at these, I'm, I just... I don't know, guys. I just feel like... I can't believe that I let myself go that far. I was almost 300 pounds. I'm only 5 foot. So that's like being 400 pounds to someone that's like 5'8 or 5'6. This is one of my bigger ones too. I dyed my hair like a bleach blonde highlights. My hair was banging long. And flip flops. My feet didn't fit a lot of tennis shoes, guys, so I did wear a lot of sandals and flip flops. Because I just couldn't fit anything else. Me again. <laughs> this is so funny. This was at one of my smaller sizes. In fact, I think I was losing weight here. I think I lost about 40 pounds here. And this was a cheat day, and we made a big sub sandwich. It's so funny. Mm -hmm. Birthday party. Again, I'm in flip-flops. They used to be my favorite shoe because my feet were too chubby to fit comfortable shoes. Also, I don't know, but if any of you guys can relate, when I was this big, it was really hard to put on my shoes. I talk about that in one of my videos. I couldn't put on my shoes when I was this big. So my husband, this man right here, helped me put on my shoes a lot of times. Never said a word, just come up and put on my shoes. I never asked him to put my shoes on, he just did it because he saw that it was hard for me. 
What I always remember is he loved me at this size and thought I was beautiful and told me every day. Told me every day that I was beautiful. And he tells me every day now that I'm beautiful because he truly loved me. And that's love, you guys. When you love someone inside and out and you're truly in love with them and they are your partner for life you will love them through literally thick and thin <laughs> good and bad thick and thin you will love them and stand by them as long as there's no hurt involved and you're not hurting each other and there's me again this was a wedding picture So, okay, a little emotional, <laughs> I'm getting it together. I just wanted to show you guys that and show you guys I have been where you are and because I know a lot of you that I've talked to are just starting out or you're struggling at the beginning of your journey. And I just want you to know I have been where you are and I understand. I've definitely been there. I couldn't put on my shoes. I didn't want to go places. I was embarrassed to, you know, go into clothing stores. I had to shop in the plus size only, which cost tons of money that I couldn't afford. <laughs> I've been there to where you just feel like I don't want to do anything because I'm big and I'm disappointing myself. I've been there. And I just wanted to remind you guys that I have been there. And I'm still working on myself. You know, I'm still working on my health and my fitness and toning up in my journey. And it's been three and a half years. February 14th will be four years. So that's why I got those pictures out to remind me of how far I've come and to not give up. And to just keep going for what I want. And to remind you guys, I have been there and I do. I promise you I understand what you're going through so just hang in there take it one day at a time and I promise you it'll be worth it in the end it'll go by so fast you won't even know it you just take it one day at a time and if you mess up it's okay we all mess up I mess up all the time just get back on track don't beat yourself up so what you ate some stuff you shouldn't have for a couple days get back on track so what you've ate stuff you shouldn't have for a couple months Get back on track. If you keep trying, you're never going to go back that way. You're always going to progress if you keep trying. So just remember that. Love you guys. Stay positive. Stay true to yourselves. You know. And I wish you guys the best of luck on your health journey. I really do. And we will keep motivating each other the best that we can, right? And being there for each other. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time, guys. Love you.